All right, here we go. Lil Bibby, welcome back to Vlad TV. Wow. You're the only person that Spanish should get me on camera. The only person, seriously, that I've ever interviewed that's basically forced me to be on camera to do the interview. Yep, but I only did one interview in about five years, Vlad. So I said, if I'm gonna do this interview, you gotta be on camera too, right? <laughs> yep, yep, you strong arm me into it. So, right. you know, here we are. People gotta see you, Vlad, see my eyes. You looking too rich now, Vlad. What's going on? <laughs> I gotta get richer, man. I'm not rich enough. I'm trying to catch up to you. <laughs> Stop it, Vlad. <laughs> And, you know, even though we haven't done an interview in a while, we have been in contact. We talk to each other. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I've been congratulating you on what you're doing. We've Thanks, had conversations man. about stocks and, and everything else like that. Uh, congrats, man. At 26, you've accomplished a lot. Thanks, man. I a appreciate lot, it. Man. A lot. Uh, and the way you've done it, I think, is really special as well. Okay, and, nice. you know, I want to get into what you're doing now, but I kind of want to lead into some of the stuff you've, you know, originally did leading up to what you're doing now to kind of tell the whole story. Yeah, right. Okay, so you, of course, grew up in Chicago. Yep, and, yep. I mean, you started rapping in 2011. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, what made you want to start originally? I'm, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, but I never thought about rapping or being no rapper. I never even, that never clicked in my head, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm on the corner just doing what I do, you know, selling little stuff I'm selling. Um... And I see, I just get to hear about Chief Keef, Lil Dirk, Lil Reese. So I'm listening to it. I'm like, man, like, you know, and I'm hearing all of, like, man, they, oh, they about to get signed or this label, this label. I'm like, I, I can do this shit. They paying niggas for this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I get to plan around. Okay. Yeah. And then in 2013, that was your first mixtape, Free yeah, Crack. Yeah. So you were only rapping like two years at that point? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you kind of based the whole free crack on Kanye West crack music? No. Like, no, that's not true. Yeah, nah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I messed that up. I ain't real, I I just got up on Kanye West about a year ago, maybe. Okay. You know, I, I ain't really listen, I used to listen to that like that. Okay, so why why free crack? Um that shit just the most addictive shit in the world, man. So I'm like, man, it's a free mixtape, man. And, and people liking this shit, man. <laughs> shit. Free crack. Okay. And Lil Herb was on it. Yeah. Uh, King L was on it. Production-wise, Young Chop, who, you know, did a lot of Chief Keef stuff. Yeah. Uh, Hip Boy? Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty big name to get on your first mixtape. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of hot. <laughs> yeah, I was hot. Okay, so here you are, 2013. You put out your first mixtape. And Chicago's pretty hot at the time, period. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, how was it to suddenly go from the guy hanging out on the street to suddenly now people know your face, people know your name, you're getting shows. Wow. This mixtape is starting to move around. That shit was weird, man. You know, I don't. Really, I never did talk like that. Like I never like talking to people or like attention at all. So to go from you know my street corner, like my neighborhood, to that, it's like man, I get the feeling weird. Like everybody, like and you know, back in the day, Vlad, I used to be crazy. Like you know. So I ain't know how to take that shit. I'm, you know, people coming up uh, while I'm eating. Oh man, look, I'm dude, get the fuck on. You know, that's how that's how I was taking it. Like, man, get the fuck out of my face, dude. Don't you see me eat? But then I had to like get used to this shit. Like, all right, man, look, this you getting paid to do this shit, man. If you gonna come out the house, this what come with it, man. If you don't want to deal with it, stay in the house. So I had to, you know. And then you know how everything changed when you start getting money and fame, man. That's when you start getting that, like everybody and everything change around you, Vlad. So it's like, I get, I'm watching people just change. Like you just treated me like this. A week, like some time ago, then you see me, see me with um, you know, the rappers and see me with, you know, if I'm famous or whatever. You see me doing that. Now they treating me like a whole different person. So I'm looking at niggas like, you know, like, I don't like this shit, Vlad. So. That shit was kind of taking a toll on me a little bit. 
Right. You talked about how you hate taking pictures of people. I hate it, man. Like, <laughs> if if you if anybody pay attention, like it's no, it's not that many photos of me before rap. Like in my neighborhood with all my homies, but I was outside every day. You might see all of my homies or even Herb in a bunch of pictures, but I'm not in no pictures. I yeah. just hated taking pictures. You know, my secret to getting out of the, taking the pictures with my homies. It's my secret. I'm like, ah, oh, take it. Yeah, let me take it. Let me take it. <laughs> so I'm the one always taking the pictures because I ain't want to so get in. Not in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> Right, because you don't really have like a typical rapper personality. You're not like super outgoing and flamboyant. And, yeah, you know, like how certain dudes is like, you know, you're around certain people like a like a DMX. Like they're just drawn to the camera. Like, yeah, if there's a camera. They're like right there in a like, Ti. He's the same type of way. Yeah, he's just drawn. You'll be interviewing someone else, and Ti will get in that shot and, and do something. Yeah, but you're not like that. Not at all. I I, I wish nobody say nothing to. You know, I'm, I walk through the airport, people are like, you, you look, baby. If you ask me that, you know what I'm going to say? No, I, I look like him. Yeah, somebody just told me I look like him, you know? <laughs> so you've told people no. You've just lied All to the time. Say, if you're going to ask me, right. I'm going to say no. You know, right. you don't have any tattoos. Right. So they can't Google you real quick and be like, nah. Like. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say, no, nah, somebody just told me I look like him. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, people usually, like, like with me, I'll be talking to someone, they'll be like, you know, you kind of sound like Vlad. Wow. <laughs> and I, I always, I get the voice more so than people seeing me. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. I mean, people don't understand the advantage of actually not being known. Yeah, man, you don't get, you know, when you're not known, people don't know much about your business. People don't, you know what I'm saying? You got, I think it's advantages of staying low key, man. A lot. People don't know. I don't get that many fake, you know, people know how much money you got or how much fame you got. You get all type of fake shit, all type of, yeah. you want to know what's real and what's fake. 